Stadia app available on Google Play Store ahead of imminent launch you can only log in to your Google account for now, pre-order codes will be sent out starting day 1. What just happened? There are only 10 more days until Google flips the switch on Stadia and people can start playing, so long as they have a pre-order invite code. In preparation for the event the Play Store has made available the Android version of the Stadia app. The launch of Google's Stadia game streaming service is right around the corner. For those itching to get on and start playing the second it goes live, the Stadia app for Android devices was just added to the Google Play Store. Some people have already given the app one-star reviews because it does not seem to work when installed. It asks for a code, but one isn't getting sent to my email address. Seems like two-factor auth is broken, said one reviewer. The problem is not that the app does not work or that too far is broken. As it says in the store's description, what it wants is the invite code that comes with the purchase of the Stadia Founders or Premiere Edition. Google has already said that it will not even start sending these codes out until launch day, which is November 19th. That said, once users have the app activated, they will be able to manage their Stadia accounts, adjust controllers, make purchases, and start games. It has a home tab from which users can access their games library. An explore tab offers a friends list, Stadia community forum, and links to social media. The store button, which is left of home, is self-explanatory. At launch, Stadia will only support Chrome OS tablets, including Pixel Slate, Acer Chromebook Tab 10, and HP Chromebook X2, and Pixel 2, Pixel 3, Pixel 3a, and Pixel 4 family phones. Of course, anything running the Chrome browser or TVs with Chromecast Ultra will not be left out of the fun. Google promises to bring wider support in 2020, including an iOS version of the app. Masthead Image Credit, David Marin Photo via Shutterstock For more on this story, visit the news article link.